Hey guys, what's up? Mystical here from A Cup of Death Gaming, and this week on our Tutorial Tuesday, I'm going to show you guys how to set up Twitch alerts on your stream. Alright, so, first off, let me explain what Twitch alerts is for those that may not know. Twitch alerts is a website slash service that allows you to connect your Twitch.tv account to it, and you can then uh, have alerts, as you can see here in this little... Uh, you know example they have you can then have alerts pop up whenever somebody does any of these actions follow your channel subscribe to your channel donate to your channel or even if someone's hosting your channel for you okay so now I'm assuming you have three different things that you're gonna need in order to do this and I'm gonna assume you have them all but I am gonna recap them real quick the first thing is you need a twitch.tv account here I'm logged into one of a couple of death streamers magic girl 19 into her account she's a CSGO streamer twitch.tv slash magicgirl19. I have a twitchalerts.com account that is connected to my twitch.tv account. So you need to make sure you have an account for both of those websites. And then we also need a plugin from OBS um, for the OBS software. Uh, you can go to obsproject.com and the plugin we need is CLR browser source plugin. This plugin allows you to make a web page um, a source inside of OBS. That's what you need to get started. So we're assuming you have all three of those things. So now exactly how do we do this? Well, the only websites we actually need to work with right now is the twitchalerts.com website. When you're logged in, you'll be on your dashboard. What you're gonna wanna do is go over here to the alert box, <clears throat> okay? On the alert box, uh, it has a, how, you know, it says how to, it doesn't really have anything, but then it has check marks, follow, subscriptions, donations, host. You want to have the ones checked that you want this thing to track. So if you want it to let you to throw up an alert anytime either of these are done, then you want to have all of them check marked. And then you can also see here that it gives you a website URL. That's the website URL that when you launch it here, all it is is a blank green screen. It's a website, but in reality, it's a video green screen that we're gonna use for OBS. And what happens now is, like, okay, let's say we have our alert set up, so we'll test the donation alert. If we click this, we'll hear some music, and then over this green board, you know, this green background, we're gonna have some uh, an image, an animated image, and some animated text pop up. So let me hit that. You heard the music, you see the little penguin that pops up, Magic Girl donated $95, this is a test donation for $95, okay? And then it lasts for so long and eventually it goes back to a green screen, okay? So, as I'm sure you can already tell, the reason you need this link is for that plugin that we downloaded. You're gonna use that with that. So that's important and we will need that in OBS. Secondly, you can adjust each alert settings. So you can adjust the main alert settings so you can choose the background color. The default is this green screen color um, because that is the most common color to use. You can also set an alert delay. That's how many times, how many seconds there are in between each alert popping up on your stream and the layout that you want for your alert that pops up. Then you can adjust the individual, your follow alerts, you can enable, disable, again, choose the layout, what you want the animation to do, what you want the message to do, all of that. You can choose the image, the sound, the sound volume, how long it lasts, you can do it all, okay? So, you can set up each one, like I said, you can enable or disable any ones you want. The donation one has a couple extra options. It has a text-to-speech, which will read um, the, uh, it'll read your, like whatever the message is when somebody donated to you, it'll read that message for you, okay? And then that is it. So, once you have everything set, and you have all, you know, all these options set up, which like I said, I mean, they're very basic, you can follow them, do them. Here's the important part. Here's the part you're probably here to see. Um, what you have to do now to get this to pop up in your stream is again, we wanna get this URL and copy it. So we're gonna copy it. And now here in your OBS, what you want to do is, again, we installed that plugin, following the directions from that CLR browser plugin thing. Well, once you have that installed, you can now right click here in your sources and you'll have an option to add CLR browser. So now we'll name this something like alert box. If I can type, there we go. And then here, it'll ask for the URL. You wanna put in that URL you get from twitchalerts.com. You can set your dimensions. So let's say you want it, your stream's in 720p, you can do 1280 by 720. Then you wanna hit okay. And now what happens 
is when we go over here and here actually we still have this alert box up we can actually close out of this. You don't have to have that up or anything. No websites have to be up or anything while you're streaming, which is the nice thing about doing it this way. But now that you have that, if we test our donation alert, go over here to our thing, this you can is a see test that an overlay for $68. popped up. Okay, so it did a test donation. It read it, as you saw, because we have the option check for it to read the text. So it pops up on your stream. Now, if you want, you can edit so you can make the alert box your full you know, things so it's in the middle completely. That's what I would normally do. Um, turn off your edit scene or whatever. But then that's all you do and it's certainly just as easy as hitting that test donate button. And like I said, it po it'll pop up on this your stream in OBS. Donation. All right, guys, that's it for me. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe if this video helped you. Make sure you give it a share. Make sure you leave us a comment if you have any questions. Make sure you follow us on all of the different social media sites. You can find us by simply searching for a cup of death. Have a good one. I'll see you guys in the game. Peace.